let's all sit and read a book. Hey guys, it's Em again. So last video I did Beautiful Chaos, which was the third book in the Beautiful Creature series. This time we are going to be finishing that series and though it makes me cry, it was a beautiful book. It's called Beautiful Redemption by the same authors and yeah, let's get started. So the plot. Pretty much what happens is Ethan's dead, but he's sort of like a spirit, I guess you could say, because he's dead, but you can still read the book in his perspective, which I loved. But pretty much, he sees his mom again, and his mom explains to him that she's also a spirit, and so is, you know, they just have this entire community of like spirits, and it's like Gatling with all the houses and stuff, but the only people who aren't there are the people who are actually alive. So Lena's not there, Link's not there, no one else is there, but Ethan is. So his mom explains to him that the reason they aren't fully dead is because they have still have something to do. You know, their life is still, yeah, your life ended before it was supposed to, they still have something to do, that kind of thing. So, but he's also able to see what the others are up to. So he leaves little clues for them, for them to know that he's alive and he's trying to get back to them. It's pretty much what happens throughout the book. But the book is divided into three parts. The first part was book, Ethan. The second part was told in Lena's perspective. And the third was, again, told in Ethan's perspective. So, yeah, but the first part of the book is where Ethan discovers that he can get back, but he needs the Book of Moons, which is still in the alive world. So at the end of the book, he leaves a clue for Lena saying that that's what he needs. The second part of the book, which is part two, Lena's perspective, is where she realizes that he needs the Book of Moons and she needs to get it to him. You know, this is her job. Ethan is trying to get back to her, but no one really believes her, even though she knows that Ethan is trying to get back to her. And, you know, so by the end of part two, Lena leaves the book on Ethan's grave and they think that he will be able to get it. Part three, Ethan does get the book and he's finally, he's able to defeat the person he needs to, which is actually Lena's mother. Um, and he gets back to the alive world. Ama, which was his babysitter, if you don't remember, actually took his place as being dead, which made me cry a little bit because I honestly loved her. She was so so sarcastic and everything and she just, I don't know, she was kind of like that relief point in the book where everything's so dramatic, but she can still make everything like funny. Like there's bunches of those characters in the books, like her, Link, Ridley, that kind of thing. But anyway, the book ends with him and Lena getting back together. Link and Ridley are sort of together, sort of not. They're that couple that like you want them together, but at the same point you don't know. And yeah, so that was the end of the series. My thoughts on the book, <sighs> when I finished it, I cried just like Beautiful Chaos because it was, the book series was so good and it had such a good plot and everything and oh my gosh, I loved it. I mean, seriously, if you guys are like looking for any books to read, that's it. I mean, those are the books you want to read. There's just nothing else to it. But, um, yeah, so, also at the end of the book, John and Liv get back together, if you don't remember who Liv is, um, she was, um, the librarian's assistant, she was trying to be a keeper, but at the end of the third book, she wasn't, or at the end of the second book, she wasn't allowed being a keeper anymore because she intervened with Ethan and trying to get Megan back alive and things like that, so yeah. But in the end of the book, they're together, which I loved, honestly. I mean, who wouldn't? So, yeah. Well, the plan for the next coming weeks is the next video will be The Book Thief, because I had to read that for school, so why not do a book on it? Um, and then I will be doing the spin-off series for The Beautiful Creatures, which is Dangerous Creatures. Um, and then I will be doing the rest of the Mortal Instruments. Series, which I will also be going to be doing a review on the rest of the books at that time so you don't get lost or confused when I do the last two books in the series and then you go oh my gosh wait where's everything else 
So yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you have a recommendation for a book for me to read or just a comment about the videos or anything like that, leave it in the comments. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Keep reading. Bye.